Vanufest 2, Disconnecting from Babylon. The second realm comes to Veritas Pasnia from September 27th to October 4th for Vanufest 2. Being a part of the Servile Society was untenable long before 2020. It's time to build our alternatives, build the second realm in this Pasnian network. It's time to found a second realm culture based upon peace, volunteerism, and truth, not the coercion, deception, and manipulation rampant in the first realm. Let's begin by gathering in physical space and time. Last year marked the inaugural Vanufest, a now annual week-long festival hosted at the Free Republic of Pasnia. This private event is for the most committed agorists, self-liberators, freedom seekers, or otherwise Venuans. It's also where we invite others to participate in our second realm, the liberated culture, our ethical enclave, uh, or Gora. Although due to the nature of the Servile Society, only vetted self-liberators are permitted entry. That is, I must know you personally, or we have to have a colleague in common willing to vouch for you. So yes, we're having an incredible festival of liberation, but you probably can't come. Uh, sorry, but don't worry, information on joining the Pasnian Network and how to get invited are forthcoming. While we don't put together a rigorous schedule and instead lean upon the spontaneous order of the Agora, there will still be a number of self-liberation opportunities available for those looking to learn, courtesy of the following departments here at Veritas Pasnia for Vanufest 2. First off, the Pasnian Department of Permaculture for food self-sufficiency. Uh, events could include processing lambs and birds, fall gardening and harvesting, uh, canning, planting trees, uh, etc. Second, the Pasnian Department of Defense, uh, which is self-defense. A uh, handgun training course by Pat Henry is on the docket for some point. Number three, the Pasnian Department of Health and Wellness. Uh, the possible experimentation with various electric uh, magnetic healing devices and the likely acquisition of an important piece of equipment. Uh, you'll have to come to find out, if you can, of course. Number four, the Pasnia Secret Space Program. Uh, potentially some nights of stargazing uh, with our newly acquired 8-inch telescope, which can be pictured uh, at vanupodcast.com where this uh, podcast is posted. Other activities include fishing, swimming, evenings around the campfire, and uh, quite possibly a ceremony celebrating the issuance of the first Pasnia defense contract uh, to our head of security, Naomi Defense, LLC. I'll always be digging trademark uh, pictured below. And again, you can view the uh, post at vanupodcast.com for the images. New to the Free Republic? The Free Republic of Pasnia is a more comprehensive, serious, uh, yet also not serious, uh, example demonstration of what Erwin S. Strauss called a model country. Pasnia being the first free country in existence right now, with the prefacing name, uh, i.e. Veritas, being the city. Of course, much like the spirit of the Second Realm quote below, this free country is not geographically dependent and already has outposts all over the world. Uh, quote, we are tribes of mind and soul, not defined by nation or race, but by thought and substance. We are everywhere and we are here to stay. Uh, end quote, and that is again from Second Realm Book on Strategy. While well, self-sufficiency is great, the economic principles of division of labor and specialization are certainly uh, still worth utilizing, hence the Pasnian Network. That and the time to build our alternative parallel society is now, uh, as the Servile Society is collapsing into complete and utter technocratic authoritarianism. With Veritas being the flagship example, I envision self-sufficient homesteads scattered all over, giving us vetted self-liberators a friendly place to trade for all necessities, uh, nutritious food, health and wellness, etc., as well as our own investigations into off-grid energy, water and infrastructure projects like mesh networking, permaculture farming, and the eventual coordination of the Pasnia Department of Transportation, uh, henceforth PDOT for short, which is our second realm delivery and logistics service, uh, finally making obsolete the dreaded USPS. And as mentioned above, some Pasnias will specialize in manufacturing, uh, building supplies like bamboo, uh, particular livestock, etc., to reiterate, we're replacing all necessary human institutions with ones on a foundation of peace and voluntarism, utilizing this already vast digital network of freedom seekers. Our progress so far. 2021 was and is the year of food self-sufficiency. We greatly expanded our goat and lamb operation and have about 30 birds, uh, which a combination of chickens, ducks, and turkeys, um, who are currently tearing up and fertilizing the front yard for a greenhouse in the near future. Uh, we're also at the early stages of our rabbit operation, a uh, great local opportunity for entrepreneurial income. Further, we've been foraging more, mostly for mushrooms and blackberries right now. And uh, if you're unaware, so-called cancer cures uh, literally grow on trees. Uh, they're called turkey tail, and they just so happen to be everywhere. Aura's also been hard at work on the Pasnia Gardens. Uh, we have a main garden with lots of vegetables and miscellaneous crops. 
a squash and watermelon garden, one for garden stuffs like uh, asparagus and potatoes, and uh, finally one zone nearest the house. Uh, the zone one features our medicinal and culinary herb gardens, as uh, well as other permaculture additions. We've learned a lot and look forward to sharing in a few weeks come Bonnie Fest 2. And again, please visit the post at bonniepodcast.com for some pictures of uh, what's going on. Setting intentions, what's to come. As per the title above, the theme for Bonnie Fest 2 and 2022 is disconnecting from Babylon. This is the putting into action the off-grid objectives and the further building of the Pazian network. For extensive information, I'd recommend you check out the 2021-2022 stakeholder bulletin, but briefly, here are some specific things we'll be working on. A privacy-focused map of Pasnia's second realms for vetted self-liberators, otherwise known as founding stakeholders. Uh, Further coordination for seed exchanges, uh, the PDOT and infrastructure projects, um, things like the Freedom Box, Pasnia Library, uh, Mesh Networks, and other free and open source software and just projects in general. Uh, and finally, for now, planning for the construction of the Pasnia Embassy here at Veritas, designed with the eventual goal of being 100% off-grid, um, for example, rainwater collection, a well, alternative power, uh, health liberation items, etc. Join the Second Realm. Of course, our goal is the expansion of the Pasnia network in as quick and safe a manner as possible. But considering the rapid degeneration taking place within the Serval society, uh, we must do so in a calculated manner so as to ensure the existence of these pockets of freedom long into the future. At current, two membership opportunities are on offer to those interested and qualified. Uh, first, honorary, uh, digital stakeholder membership, and second, founding, uh, which is a vetted or physical stakeholder membership. Either stakeholder membership includes uh, discounts to the other businesses and hustles in the Agora, uh, access to the Second Realm network of non-coercers. Uh, as Veritas is built, opportunities could include uh, another option for a bug out location with livestock, food, and supplies awaiting you at the property. Uh, and you can be a part of the coming unique intentional community uh, help bring the homestead up to self sufficiency. Um, also, big donators help fund projects like the Freedom Observatory, the Pasney Library, uh, the Milton William Cooper Fallen Allies Memorial, etc. Uh, we'll have the option to name the area, becoming etched in permanence with a plaque. And uh, lastly, for the moment, for either stakeholder membership, uh, access to the Pasnia, uh, the Pasnia Department of Health and Wellness uh, for healing devices and treatments. Um, but the note there is that all visitors to Veritas Pasnia must be vetted. Now for some particulars, uh, for an honorary stakeholder membership, um, honorary stakeholder donation tiers, uh, $3 donation, stakeholder ID card, uh, $55 donation, Pasnia sticker, um, ID card, and digital self-liberation bundle from Libertarian Attack Publications, uh, $99 donation, uh, includes an ID card, a digital self-liberation bundle, and a Pasnia flag. A $333 donation, at least, um, gets you the full stakeholder membership. Um, all the above, plus an official Pasnia passport, and now now featuring a Pasnia beach towel. And of course, with special offers from Liberty Attack Publications. Now for founding stakeholders. Founding stakeholders also receive access to the Pasnia Second Realm Map and Directory. Uh, You can be a part of the hopeful alternative uh, decentralized energy rollout. Uh, You can help beta test and contribute to the building of various infrastructure projects, as mentioned above, things like the Pasadena Library. A lifetime 25% discount to to, uh, Liberty Attack Publications and goods and services at Pasadena, including meat, eggs, dairy, chicks, etc. Uh, Early access to purchase items available at Veritas. And uh, finally, for now, an exclusive invitation to our yearly gathering of self-liberators, Vonnie Fest. And of course, founding stakeholders and tourists must be vetted, uh, not open to all. So please note, uh, please make special note, uh, founding stakeholders must be vetted uh, as per the standards delineated by the Pasadena Department of Freedom. Uh, honorary stakeholder memberships are for those who are not yet vetted, but would still like to support the creation of the Pasadena Network while also reaping the above benefits of joining early. And now, the burning question on everyone's mind, how do I become vetted to come to Vanu Fest or to become a founding stakeholder? First and foremost, join our Pasnia Committee of Correspondence Telegram chat channel and start building a reputation. Drop an introduction and whatever related information you think is important for us to know. Second, this community isn't that large, and uh, so it shouldn't be difficult to find a suitable digital connection we both have in common that will be able to vouch for you. Number three, if you happen to be in the area, Veritas is about an hour and a half northeast of St. Louis, uh, we'd also be happy to coordinate an off-site meetup. And uh, finally, if neither, neither of those options are possibilities, uh, you can also find us at the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest, uh, although this will have to wait until 2022 at this point, and uh, maybe other Freedom Festivals. 
Uh, these announcements always take place in the Pasadena chat mentioned above. Some final words for now. Well, I could continue. I'll leave the short announcements uh, and article there and point you in the direction of a few resources worthy of your attention uh, if any of the above intrigue you. First off, the 2021-2022 Pasadena Stakeholder Bulletin, which is linked uh, at the podcast show notes at phonypodcast.com. Um, you can visit this, you can, you can view this for extensive information on everything we're doing here at the Free Republic. Uh, second, the Vonnie Podcast Intermission number 50, uh, which is titled Pasnia, Liberated Areas Among the Tyrannical Wasteland. Um, this is just a short article on the Pasnia vision, uh, and the audio is also available. The Vonnie Fest page on the Pasnia website is a great resource uh, for more information. And finally, uh, the link to become a stakeholder uh, is available as well. Uh, so thanks so much for your time today. And always remember, Vanu is yours for the making, and the second realm is yours for the building.